The mark of a good anime is a sound narrative or an emotionally gratifying experience. However, truly great anime usually achieve both. Today's review is Ghost Town, an anime that both tells a compelling story and manages to accomplish something I've never experienced in anime. Its horror elements actually gave me goosebumps and made me jump. Ironically, it's not even a horror anime, yet it managed to achieve something that most supposedly scary movies and anime fail to accomplish. If you're looking for your new favorite anime or just want to see what's out there, it's my goal to be your guide, so subscribe for spoiler-free anime reviews from all eras and genres. Ghost Town primarily follows Taro and his two friends. Taro, born to a family of sake brewers, is an introvert who enjoys building radios. Taro also has PTSD after being the victim of a partially unsolved crime 10 years ago that shook the foundation of his rural village and even made headlines across Japan. Makoto, born into a bizarre Shinto sect, enjoys playing the guitar. Unfortunately, he too suffers from this crime as rumors implicate his father who ended his life in a very unusual manner around the same time. Masayuki, the transfer student, enjoys video games and meddling in people's business. His primary targets are Taro and Makoto as he had become interested in the case while living in Tokyo. Although he spends his time harassing his reluctant friends, he too has a few skeletons in his closet. I like how Ghost Town walks the line between natural and supernatural. For example, Taro's therapist takes a rational, scientific approach to everything while Makoto's grandmother is strongly religious. Then of course there's Takahito who runs a local shrine. He's highly interested in folklore but believes it to be just that despite his position. The entire anime is filled with people on all sides of this ideological spectrum which becomes intriguing as potential supernatural events occur. I can't discuss the story in great detail due to spoilers but there's much suspense to be had as each character struggles to cope with their trauma while hunting down clues to unravel their town's darkest secrets. In fact, the town feels just as alive as our main characters. Because it's so small, everyone knows each other so there's plenty of rumors which could be potential clues. For example, part of their town was blocked off and flooded due to the construction of a dam which was supposedly the result of political corruption. Strangely enough, within this flooded area was the building where this heinous crime occurred. There are numerous questions you'll be wondering. Is the corruption real? Why was that area flooded? What's inside the dilapidated building and most importantly are these supernatural events real or a hallucination. Some characters encounter what they consider to be out-of-body experiences, ghost or spirit sightings, hearing voices of the dead, and more. Due to the character's ideological dichotomy, there are numerous possibilities on the table. I can't say what's real, but I enjoyed how the plot was equally submersed in psychology, terminology, and Shinto lore. As a viewer, you'll be weighing the possibilities in your head as the story gradually becomes more complex and the characters develop over the course of their experiences. I also appreciated how they went to the trouble of developing its side characters such as family members, the therapist, and others. For example, this tragedy took its toll on Taro's parents and they both handle their grief differently. His mother is on antidepressants and still struggles to to hold everything together, and his father just bottles it up and drowns it all out by blasting jazz music in his awesome man cave. Overall, I found the anime intriguing, suspenseful, and spooky. While the moments that gave me goosebumps are sparse, I think that's also what made them special, though I can't deny I wish they happened more often. Their ability to craft an ominous atmosphere was better than most horror anime I've seen. Some scenes felt ripped straight out of a Silent Hill game. Plus, the added uncertainty of whether or not the events were real or hallucination heightened the moment. I wish I could show you some of these scenes, but there are not that many, and that would also flavor your perspective on the anime if you choose to watch it. Ghost Town is an anime original, created by Shiro Masamune, creator of Ghost in the Shell. It was directed by Ryutaro Nakamura and written by Chiaki Konaka, who both played the same roles in Serial Experiments Lane. I think this likely says enough about the weirdness you can expect within Ghost Town, yet unfortunately, I find myself wishing it was a little weirder, especially with its ending. Although I thoroughly enjoyed the anime's build-up, its follow-through in the last quarter left a bit to be desired in my opinion. While its ending is complete, there comes a point when the plot feels expedited and I wish they could have had a full 24 episodes to make its pacing feel consistent instead of giving it an ending that feels suited for a movie. Overall, I give Ghost Town an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend it for its psychological aspects, mystery, spooks, and balanced perspectives between the world of science and folklore. While it wasn't the most fulfilling mystery, I think 
think its ride is worth it. If you decide to check out Ghost Town, come back and tell me what you think. Thanks to Neachan and all other monthly Patreon and YouTube supporters for making these videos possible. If you'd like to support, check the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another anime review.